I'm not going to
members of the press. I'm very delighted and I want to take this opportunity to thank the Almighty God, who I believe has been a pillar in my journey up to where I am today. I'm pleased to inform my supporters and the people of Kakamega that I have been cleared together with my deputy governor and uh, we are now officially on the ballot. We had a lot of propaganda surrounding my academic credentials. Today, the authorized body institutionally, which is supposed to verify all our documents, has verified and has confirmed that all my documents are legit and I'm officially a candidate. I want to take this opportunity to tell the people of Kakamega that I'm now going to take my campaigns very seriously uh, and we are going to ensure that we comb every area of this uh, county. We are going to ensure, we knock every door to ensure that we get victory come 9th August. Second, I also want to um, uh, assure them that I am the best leader. My, my deputy and myself, we have a manifesto and we have a blueprint of ideas that is going to change Kakamega County in terms of development. And therefore, just to ask them to be patient and to have confidence in us when we shall be uh, starting our campaigns tomorrow, we have uh, arranged a series of 420 public meetings before 3rd of August. So it's going to be a campaign like no any other. Ngependa kushukuru kila mtu ambaye amekuja kuni support led by our party leaders, uh, Honorable Msalia Mdaladi, Honorable Mose Masika Wetangula, and my Senate Speaker, Honorable Ken Musaka. As I'm telling you, I've been a, a father figure. Every time I experience challenges, they have been encouraging me, and I want to take this opportunity to thank them before the people of Bakamega. So I request my deputy just to say a word, and then I'll thank In a leg that I had bolted out of this dress, I want to say that I'm very much ready to run the whole journey up to this victory that we are claiming today. We have a very clear vision for transforming the lives of the people of Kakamega. And our vision is informed by our deep love for our people. The women of Kakamega are going to play their role in leading this transformation. Thank you very much, my party leaders. Thank you very much, Governor Designate, for believing in me. Together, we shall deliver. Asante Nisala. Good. Uh, we are here in solidarity. As, as a Kenya Kwanza team, we are here in solidarity with the uh, Honorable Moses Masiko Tangula and Governor Lusaka and all the Kenya Kwanza fraternity to be part of the process of proving to the world and to Kakamega County that we have a very good team in the name of Cleo Malala and his deputy and we are assured of victory on the 9th of August. We also want to state very categorically that Kenya Kwanza will conduct its election in accordance with the code of conduct of the IEDC. Uh, we have no funny tricks or hidden cards uh, in our hands. And we want to tell those people who are trying to use funny tactics, peddlers of false influence, to try and undermine the candidacy of Malala, that your schemes have been exposed and they have failed. We want to tell you, if you are running scared, run scared even more. Yes. Because the victory of Kenya Kwanza is going to be there. And as we speak here, we are also very delighted because in Nairobi, equally, uh, Senator Sakadia has also been cleared with his team. So this is a very good day for us that where they are trying to propagate a lot of falsehoods, uh, our candidates have been cleared. Even in Vihiga, where there was an attempt again to use the courts, because there was an attempt to use the courts against Malala, an attempt to use the courts against uh, Agoi, and, uh, and, and even in Butere constituency and others. These are people who know that they don't want a fair 
competition, so they are trying to adopt awkward tactics. But we are happy that the process is complete. We are all going to rally behind Cleo Malala and his team, and all the Kenya Kwanzaa members of parliament and the MCAs. And we are also going to campaign very vigorously for William Samoy Ruto, so that on the 9th of August, victory shall be so decisive, extremely decisive, powerfully decisive, to the extent that anybody who is contemplating going to court will find no basis whatsoever. God save Kenya Kwanzaa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, my brothers and sisters. Senator Cleo Malala is uh, one of our own. I have worked with him, I've mentored him, and I have no doubt whatsoever, howsoever, that he's going to win and make a good governor alongside his running mate, Dr. Inyangala. We've come here in solidarity. We've come here to work with one of our own that we have done elsewhere. Our governors of Kenya Kwanza have been cleared to run. Speaker Lusaka in Bungoma, Dr. Chris Wemawa in Tanzania, Agoi in Vihiga, now Kileo here, and we have Binyasi in Busia. We also have our own uh, Sakaja in Nairobi, and we want to send out a clear message to our detractors. The Bible says the wicked are always running even when nobody is chasing them. <laughs> and we have seen them running and causing mayhem. We are them that we will cause them now to run helter-skelter <laughs> so that we can scamper them in all directions to pave way for a clear victory. We as a community, as a region, have said and we want to repeat for those with ears to hear and understand that we are not anybody's colony, we are not anybody's extension, we are not anybody's appendages. We are a proud community, we are a proud region and those who have supported before who now look at us as a bunch of sour grapes we tell them that we shall be even more sour <laughs> as we move to 9th of August this year. Because our resolve is very clear. We have been everywhere and our people are very clear. You can see those uh, prophets of doom and the dooms the conspirators like uh, Atwoli have vanished. Now they can't say anything because they have nothing to say. Uh, the trumpets they are blowing all over are trumpets of fear and trumpets of uh, disaffection. Now they can't do it anymore. They are now a marked group and like we said yesterday, we shall tackle them on the ground, we shall tackle them in the air and where necessary we shall tackle them in water to make sure that we have victory and this victory is going to cascade all the way to the top because we have campaigned around the country and we know that the prop of the state, the project of the state, the surrogate of the state and the puppet of the state is going to fail because Kenyans are not ready to install a puppet leader in this country. And as we know, Senator Malala and Mama Nyangala, you know that you are now carrying our hopes and our aspirations and you must carry the mantle from the top to the bottom. We want Kakamega as our second largest Mulembe county after Nairobi to be a place to be proud to be. Bungoma is sealed, Tanzania is sealed, we must seal Kakamega, we must seal Zika, we must move and run them out of Busia. Thank you. Mine is just to congratulate my friend Cleo Malala, our support, and to assure Kenyans and people from Western Kenya that this is the team that they have been waiting for. We are determined to transform this area and to find our two leaders for coming together and making it possible and making it realizable that we can come together and stick together as a region. We want to urge our people to vote for us so that we have this victory. Uh, at the end of the day, we want to transform Western Kenya. Thank you and may God bless you.